We're back in Spokane at the Spokane Club. It's a historic spot in town with food that members and non-members alike brag about. The club, over the years, has done a great job of just presenting some very good local Northwest cuisine that I've enjoyed. Uh, a buddy of mine and I have been coming down here every Saturday for breakfast. Well, I think we're in our 47th year. I am not a member, but I always enjoy when I do come here. Chef Aaron Crumbaugh is new to the Spokane Club, but he isn't new to the culinary world. You've been on TV before. Yes, so the first time was it was actually non-cooking related. It was The Amazing Race. How so far did you get? We finished fourth, and then I've been on Cutthroat Kitchen, so Alton Brown. And then this year, I was on uh, Food Network Stars. That's uh, cool. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to cook with you. What are we going to make? So we are going to make poutine. It's a Canadian dish. And then right. we're going to do a loaded fry. You had me at fries. I know, right? <laughs> so the first step with poutine is we, we have to fry our fries, our, fry our, our, fries. Our, wa our Washington potatoes. Yeah. Nothing but the best, right? Um, so, so we're going to go do that. Let's go fry the okay. potatoes. So we'll pull our fries out, you know, frozen fries in the bag. There we go, right here. You know, so the beautiful thing about uh, the frozen French fry is one consistency, you're always going to get a great product. Okay. Uh, two is the cost savings. Yeah. And obviously, not a lot of people have a fryer at home. Right. So, so you know, you, you crank the oven up and yeah. put a little bit of a spray oil down on your pan and your uh, cheat tray, throw the fries on and throw them in the oven, you get a nice crispy That's fry even I that way. It, yeah. So I like a nice crispy fry. Mm -hmm. I hate it when I go to a restaurant and you get the fry and it's and like, it's like Meow. Meow. you're like, come on, <laughs> yeah. like, really? Yeah. Once our fries are perfectly golden, it's time to start on our poutine. You want to try? Yeah, of course. And of course, we got to add a little salt here, <laughs> toss it. Ooh, hot. Yeah, yeah. So good. We'll pack this with the fries. Okay. We've got some cheddar cheese curds. This is very uh, authentic other than my poutine gravy. We got the basic, sort of a basic poutine gravy. Mm -hmm. I like to step it up a notch. Oh. All right. So, like so we only serve Wagyu beef, which is the breed okay. of Kobe mm -hmm. beef from. And so we've made this amazing oh, demi gloss rich. with the Wagyu bones, red yeah. wine. So this is a little, little higher end than the normal Canadian poutine gravy. So we'll pop this in the oven so it's, it's soft and mm -hmm. velvety delicious. and delicious. Absolutely. Okay, so we're back. Oh, ho, ho. So you can see how the <laughs> cheap curds have started to yes. melt. I, what I always like to do is, you know. A little bit more. Canadian taught me this once. More gravy, eh? <laughs> more so gravy, I was like, all right, eh? more gravy. Let's eh? do it, eh? So, you a little green. That's gorgeous. And we've got our cheese curds. Is it going to be too hot to eat? Yeah, or? There we go. There's a nice one right there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Holy cow, that gravy is amazing. Really creamy cheese curd. And and crispy french fries. fries. Yeah. So what else are we going to make? You know, yeah, I'm so we've got the poutine. Continue eating. Yeah, right. He's going to do all the work. <laughs> Love it. It's like my wife. <laughs> We're going to do a uh, a barbecue pulled pork fry. So That's something I never would have thought of, but yeah, that right? sounds delicious. We add some cheddar cheese to our fries and put them in our dish. So this is actually a whole pig. We did a pig roast, so we saved this stuff. Yeah, so you could, if you had like a leftovers from dinner the night before or something. Exactly. This Save every bit. great to do. We add a little bit more cheese on more top. Cheese? And then this goes in the oven. Awesome. Boop. These are the loaded, loaded fries. Loaded fries. So we've got a little home. pork. So we have little homemade barbecue sauce. You gotta have that. A little bit of green onion. You know, let me get a fork. You know, here at the Spokane Club, we are civilized. Folks, We're you know, civilized. So. I was just gonna dig I right know, in. I know, dig right in. I'm not very civilized. It, it, mm. Vinegary barbecue mm -hmm. sauce, a really succulent pork. So we have two great, easy dishes to do with some frozen french fries. When you're using fries like this, you can kind of get creative, can't you? You don't have to do something super fancy. Absolutely. Uh, so I had a food truck in Chicago, and I served burgers and mm -hmm. sandwiches, meat. And I would have vegans and vegetarians come and say, hey, do you guys have anything for me? And I'm like, yes, fries. And I'd like fries. literally go through my, my sandwich prep room and go, okay, yeah. I've got avocados, all these different mm -hmm. vegetables and really fresh things, and have this big basket of fries with all these good toppings on nice, top. Nice, yeah. because it can be a base for exactly. a lot of different stuff. To get the recipe for Chef Aaron's beef bone gravy and the poutine, head to wagrown.com.